The verse on the Jester for Jesus website for today is from Psalm 63 and verse 3. And it says this, Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. This is a psalm of David, uh, written at a time when he was in the wilderness and he's obviously feeling a little bit out of it. And he, but it's looking, it's in your unfailing love. That love, if it's unfailing, it's not going to break. It's not going to stop. If something fails, it fails because it's broken. It's not going to stop. It's going to be continuous. So God's continuous love is better than life itself. Because we know that as Christians, once this earthly life of ours here finishes we're going to spend eternity with God. So David obviously knew this or got this concept in his head even before the birth, death, uh, resurrection and ascension of the Lord Jesus. So God's unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. In the midst of troubles that he's going through, he can call out those things to God and say, your unfailing love is better than life itself. I might be in the wilderness here. I might be starving. I might be thirsty. I might be hungry. I might be cold. I might be too hot. I might be whatever. But God's love for him is better than all of that. And I just think that's an amazing sort of verse to start this week off with. Um, if you are not looking forward to this week of work, well... Maybe you're starting back at school, maybe you're starting back at college, maybe you're starting back at university, whatever it is. Just think, you know, that God's unfailing love is better than anything that you can ever imagine, whatever you're going through. And we should praise God for every moment of every day for the things that he gives to us.